Japan says it is ready to join U.S. led sanctions on Russia. Here's a summary of the article U.S. Air Force, Senior Airman Ali Stewart, Handout via Reuters. Register now for free unlimited access to Reuters. Com Tokyo, February 22, Japan said on Tuesday it stood ready to join the United States and other G7 industrialized nations in slapping sanctions on Russia, should President Vladimir Putin order an invasion of Ukraine. Late on Monday the White House said it would announce new sanctions on Russia in response to Moscow's decisions and actions. New sanctions by Japan, which would add to those imposed on Russia in 2014 after it occupied the Crimea, would include a ban on semiconductor chips and other key technology exports and tougher curbs on Russian banks, the Yomiuri newspaper has said. Kashida and other government officials who spoke on Tuesday did not say what sanctions Japan was considering. Japan's toughening stance against Russia contrasts with the softer diplomatic approach to Moscow taken in the past. Previous governments have courted Putin in a bid to secure the return of islands occupied by Russian forces at the end of World War II. Japan's delicate diplomacy has also been shaped by its reliance on Russia for some of its energy needs. In 2021, Russia provided more than 12% of Japan's thermal coal, and almost a tenth of its liquefied natural gas. This post received a score of 42,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This means no PlayStations for Russians? No Pokemon cards either. All the waifus too. I don't see Russia recovering from this. And most viewed category is hentai according to Pornhub. Russia will not survive the winter. North Korea is an ebony island in a sea of Japanese LMAO. Dennis Rodman brought them the good stuff. He really put him on apparently lolol. Since a lot of you are debating the efficacy of economic sanctions, they are well known to damage quality of life for a country's general population. The targeted, individual sanctions are largely for show. The real weapon is the collective anger of a depressed population. At which point a regime will either a. cave to internal pressure, or b. scapegoat and backchannel. But if the population is used to their country being terrible, do they notice? Their economy has boomed since Putin took over in early 2000s, largely due to oil and gas, a big reason why he has been able to keep power. If it goes back in the shitter as it was in the 90s and Russians' wages and standard of living drop significantly it will be harder to keep power. Added to the fact that oligarchs will turn against him if the West sanctions them hard enough, i.e. sending them and their kids back, seizing their assets edit thanks for the upvotes now I have enough comment karma to go troll on other subs. At the same time. Person on the edge. I am not sure Putin's successor will be pro-West either. They don't need to be pro-West. They just need to be smart enough to not hurt their own finances with horrendous decisions. For anyone wondering, that's another casual $20 billion in Russia's GDP down the drain. Edit, kind redditor pointed out this is not decreasing Russia's GDP it is actually decreasing Putin's personal checking account. Unlike other modern nations Russia does not have a GDP, it just has a series of bank accounts run by oligarchs masquerading as a country. Okay. Putin had to know that the first thing nations would do in response to his invasion of Ukraine was sanctions. Possibly the only thing. I imagine he wouldn't do that without a plan. So how does he still benefit from this situation? could be looked at as the cost of doing business. He wants Ukraine so this is the cost of getting it. Sanctions would eventually be lifted. Russia could hold on to territory they've taken for much longer. What do we lose by keeping the sanctions as long as he doesn't back down? Also, if two years from now he gets a sympathetic US president, say Trump or some other R, he might get his shit back. That's what happened last time. When Trump won, they gave back property in the US that was seized under sanctions. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.